The Defender 130. Quite the vehicle if I do say myself. Honestly, this vehicle is exceeding my expectations. It is beautiful. It's the interior is very exquisite. Honestly, when I'm in there in the Defender 130, I think I believe it makes me believe because the car is so nice. I, I think I feel like a world leader. Because these are one of the types, these are the types of vehicles that would be bulletproof and the world leader will be waving from the back seat. So, the one the Fender 130X, what are the differences? What are the things that have changed since the Fender 110 from last year or 2022, if you want to put it? So, let's go inside. Inside, this is the co pilot's area or co-driver, I don't know how you want to say it. Passenger, I don't know. So anyways, here we have this, which is different. We have the manual, one, two, one, two, three. I don't know what that means, but from a Land Rover employee, I was told that that is for the seating arrangements. And the one, two, and three are for different modes. Supposedly not different modes, but different ways you put the vehicle. Let's say different pe three different people use the vehicle and you want to, and all three of them are, are different sizes and heights and stuff. So I guess those are like different saves, different saved stuff. I guess, uh, it's not confirmed. I have asked them and that's what they told me. They're wrong, well then I'm wrong. Here we have the same seating thing. We have this, instead of a rubber floor, now we have a matted floor. And the mat is, I think, used, this is used to capture dust, which explains why it is so, it has like a towel-y feeling. Under it, they've covered the bottom on the last Defender 110. This was all exposed. You could, your stuff could fall under here. But now I guess they've, they have solved this problem and now that is blocked. Now, the seat is made out of leather, 100% real leather. And honestly, ah, it feels really good. Here we still have the trademark, the symbol, the Defender, which I am very fond of. This is just, this space is beautiful. Now, let's close the door. I still, I believe, we have an, I have enough space to stretch my legs. I am still a teenager, so this might be small for some tall adults, but the leg space is enormous, such as last year's 110. Now we open the glove compartment. Here it has the same space, if not, I haven't used the glove compartment, me personally I haven't used it a lot, so I don't know the size difference, but this one it looks more tactical. This would use, you would see like the store handguns if you were like secret service or something. And uh, it goes not that deep, but it's a glove box, so it's not supposed to be that deep. As we see here, no major changes in the dashboard, except that the screen is slightly bigger. Here we see the screen, it is big. It doesn't have the outer rimming protecting it like before. Here we have the control shift thing, the same basic manual dashboard. This power on and off button, the still basic area behind the screen. Now, and this is something that wasn't in the Fender 110. So before there was no area under the cup holder but now there is an area under the cup holder for extra loose items per se such as keys glasses all sorts of stuff and now let's go all up ahead now this it has more features for example this has a windshield I think it can turn on no it is not turned on now the SOS and repair button and that, I guess, is to change the vehicle's height. 
and this is the new screen i have not seen it while i was driving here is also another thing um while my while they were driving they say they saw a little pop-up display let's see if we can look oh there is the pop-up display boom right there and some glass covering it but and there it indicates from the driver's pro point of view the speed you were going at which is cool so that is the whole uh, this area time to go on the driver's point of view This is the door and the vehicle was recently glossed. So it's no surprise that it's this, this shiny. As you can tell, the vehicle lights are on. This is the driver's side. They still have the same basic things from the 110, but this time the manual one, the one, two, one, the M, one, two, and three. Sorry, I have confusion with that. And this, I don't know what that does. Put it down in the comments if you know what that is and I'll make a video on it. I'll make sure to tag you. So here we have the driver's side. We have... Oh, so it's on the black, nice. So anyways, this is the driver's side. We have plenty of room. Honestly, no major changes on the size, except that this time, this the pedals are made are of metal. Um white metal clear metal i don't know how to describe it and this time it does have a rug not the rubber like before let's hop in so wow this is very good this is made out of what i think to be plastic of some kind and this is all rubber here we have an airbag this i don't know what that means and we have the radio and media controls. Here we have the parking and the, that, I don't know what that is. But there, that is to open the front of the vehicle. The, that, the hood, to pop up the hood. Now to go into the passenger side. Leave any comments down below if you want to see any specific parts of the vehicle. I will make a video on that. So here we have the passenger side. It's very spacious. I do. It's very spacious. And this net. Before in the 110, it did not have a net. It had an ugly thing. Ugly. I do say it. It's very ugly. It's open this way, and you put stuff in there. Usually, there if it would be common if you were driving with your family, it would be common to find melted crayons there and stuff like that. Um, but now there's there's a net. You know stuff. You know what you put in there. You can't forget what you left in there. Here we have the same basic area and ro unlock road trips. I use this to store my water. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> There is more leg room than before, or actually, same leg room. Yeah, no, no difference. And here we have the temperature controls. These used to open. I guess they just decided to patch it. Uh, this had a USB port on the 110, but now it's just fabric. Same on the other side. It used to these used to have a USB port and something where you can attach a coat hanger, but now it is just fabric. So now to go into the back of the vehicle. As you notice, we have some new hooks on the back of the vehicle, which could be helpful for towing boats, towing. I don't know, whatever you are going to be towing. We also have, this is an add-on. Remember, this is an add-on. You have to purchase it separately. So this, that uh, is a hook where you can attach boats and stuff that you want to attach to the vehicle. And these are main hooks if you want to bring on a little trailer or something. 
Also, this ladder is also an add-on, as well as those steps. Now, this is the back. You also, this is also fabric, but it is not like the front. It does not have a towel. It, some parts of it do. It's weird. This has a towel-y feeling to it. Also, this. This has a more towel-y feeling than this. So, as you see, these are the eight seats that they were talking about. It, from what I see, it's plenty of space. Let me just leave this open for lighting. And to open this, you're going to need this. Boom. Whole two seats come down. So, um, as you see there, there's some ventilation. Ventilation was a major problem in the 110. The 110 beneath the back seats was literally torture because it was so hot back there. Like, I can't even last 30 minutes in here without sweating. But as you see now, they have fixed that problem. They have vents here, vents here, and vents under the seats. So if you take off your shoes and uh, relax, ventilate your feet or whatever. Uh, I think that's ventilation. Nope, that is not. There's just rubber. This is weird. I don't... Oh, okay, that's good. Well, more ventilation, cup holders, and seat warming. Cool. Well, cup holders, seat warming. This also has a storage area where you could put, throw in little items such as phones and stuff like that, keys, glasses. They also have the same thing on the side, on the right Check. side. I mean the left side. And you can see the storage area. They, honestly, I think they did a great job on the back because now this is very, it's as good as a front area, just less like, now let's get out. seats let me just first take these down because if you do not have any extra passengers you can take these seats down and have some extra space for your trunk oh that's weird taking these down is not as hard as it seems you don't need any particular strength um to see the back space, it is very, very spacious in the back. So, I had a jump there. The vehicle is very high. So, these apparently don't have a stationary position where they lock. I think. Oh, you open this. See all the gears and stuff down there. But in the old vehicle, the 110, these did have a stationary position where it would just lock on or something, latch on. Um, yeah, basically, these do not latch on like the 110. But here, I do notice some more things. Okay, that's the seatbelt. And we have this, a charging port. Where you could, what? Oh my God so cool a one 110 volts or 180 watts that is a charger so let's say you're going camping or something you this would be coming there was this would come very handy if you have like one of those inflatable beds or whatever you could plug this in and put an extension cord and that would be your campsite and you would depend on the vehicle's energy here we have a basic charger where you could charge your phone that's not going to do much if you're camping or stranded in the middle of nowhere here we have the settings to change the vehicle's height wait what oh i'm making the vehicle taller as we speak 
Now it does not get taller. Now we can make the vehicle smaller or a bit lower. I'm not moving the camera. Shaking a bit it is. It is shaking the camera. Wow. That is the size, that is quite the size of it. Yep. This vehicle just got shorter in size. And now we can make it taller and shorter at will in a matter of seconds. So, this is it, I guess. And also this from the 110, it was an emergency stop thing. You would put it on the road and that's what helped for people. It was like floorless, fluorescent, fluorescent. And that's it. That is the full interior and my honest review of the Defender 130X. Leave your opinions in the comments and if you need to see any specific area, just put it in the comments or text me directly. All right, that was it. Please like, follow, and share if you want to see more content like this about the vehicle, about its upgrades. Also about the upgrades. The roof, there was no roof rack. They don't have the roof racks yet. The roof racks did not come out because this vehicle is so new. All right, well, thanks everyone.